My name is Lisa, and I'm a working housewife living with my husband, Julius, and our adorable daughter, Madison. Julius is often busy with work and not around much, but on his days off, he always makes sure to spend quality time with Madison, playing with her all day. Recently, Madison started taking lessons. I'm home. Welcome back, Madison. Did you enjoy your lesson? Yes, I made a friend to chat with. Welcome back. Lunch will be ready soon, so please wash your hands and gargle. Okay. Hey, Daddy, what's for lunch? I wonder. It smells delicious. Sometimes, Julius would also pick up Madison. Thanks to Julius's thoughtful care, our household was peaceful every day. Then, one day, Madison came back home after her lesson. I'm home. Madison, after you take off your shoes, put your backpack in your room. Okay. Hey mom, isn't daddy home yet? Is he coming back late? Yes, he contacted me a little while ago to say he'd be late. I see. Um, mom, is this daddy? I saw daddy walking arm in arm with a woman, and they looked really happy. What? What is this picture? Did you take this, Madison? Yes, I was taking various pictures with the hand-me-down phone, and I saw them, so I took a picture. On the phone screen Madison showed me. There was an image of Julius walking arm in arm with a woman. Seeing that picture, I decided to consult someone and keep an eye on Julius. However, a few weeks later, my father suddenly passed away, and I was so busy with funeral preparations that I didn't have time to think about Julius. A week after the funeral ended. Hello, Lisa. Thank you for everything during the funeral. So, this is sudden, but. We found out that your father left an inheritance for both you and me. Now that you mention it, he did own a lot of land, didn't he? Yes, but he sold the land and left us the money instead. He left you 200 million yen, Lisa. What? 200 million yen? I was very surprised when I heard the amount my father intended to leave me. It was a considerable amount of money, so I decided to discuss it with Julius. Despite the suspicion of his infidelity, I thought it was something we should talk about as a married couple. That night. Hey, Julius, I got a call from my mom during the day. She told me that my father left me an inheritance, but I'm not sure if I should accept it. It's amazing that he left you an inheritance. Why are you so worried about something that should make you happy? Actually, the amount is 200 million yen. 200 million yen! That's incredible! You'd be a millionaire! Julius came home looking a bit tired. But the moment he heard about the inheritance amount, he was overjoyed. His mood was unusually high, and he started thinking about how to use the money without listening to what I had to say. A few weeks later, Julius came home from work as usual. I'm home. Hey, Lisa. I have something important to tell you. Listen to me right now. Welcome back. You seem to be in a really good mood. What's this about? Look at this. Tada. Divorce papers. So, Lisa, let's get a divorce. What? Divorce? You already have the papers prepared. What brought this on so suddenly? Your father left you 200 million yen, right? That gave me the courage to finally do it. Courage to get a divorce. That's right. Now I can finally divorce a plain woman like you and enjoy a glamorous life with a flashy woman. Lucky me. A plain woman. What do you mean by enjoying love life freely? Exactly what it sounds like. Once we're divorced, I'll get half of the inheritance, which is a hundred million yen, right? Don't complain about it being your father's money or anything, we're married, so it's fair game. A hundred million yen? What are you even talking about? There's no point in trying to keep all two hundred million yen to yourself, Lisa. It's a huge amount of money. With a hundred million yen, I'll be super popular with women and have my pick. I never imagined such a lucky thing would happen to me. Um... With that much money, you'll be fine living without me, right, Lisa? Oh, and I'll leave Madison's custody to you, so don't worry about that. Wait a minute. It's fine to be excited, but... Whatever, just sign the divorce papers already. Julius seemed completely over the moon. Given that a significant amount of money was involved, perhaps it was natural for him to be so excited. However, divorcing just because of that seemed absurd. Feeling exasperated, I decided to sign the divorce papers and then tell Julius the truth. Okay, 
I'll take this divorce paper and submit it later. All right. Now I can have fun with beautiful women all I want. Yay! Hey, Julius, I'm sure you're the happiest you've ever been right now, but you won't get a single yen of that money. Huh. What are you talking about? 200 million yen divided by 2 is 100 million yen, right? Sure, your father left you the inheritance, but since we're married, we split it in half during the divorce, right? No, I inherited 200 million yen. You have no inheritance rights. But your money is my money too, so we split it in half, right? No, that's not necessary. You won't get a single yen. Why not? Oh, I get it. You're trying to trick me with some nonsense, huh? Too bad. I won't fall for such childish tricks. No, that's not it. You have no right to inherit my father's estate. And the property I inherited while we're married doesn't need to be divided. But as a couple, we split everything in half. It's not money we earn together, so my father's inheritance isn't shared property. So I really won't get a single yen. That's what I've been saying all along. What? That's my hundred million yen. I won't let you keep it all for yourself. It's not about your permission. The 200 million yen isn't your money to begin with. I thought I'd get a hundred million, so I spent a lot of money having fun. I even bought a new car and a motorcycle I've wanted for a while. How am I supposed to pay for them now? It turns out that Julius mistakenly believed he would get half of my inheritance. Inheritances aren't considered marital property. However, Julius, unaware of this, went on a shopping spree, thinking he'd get a hundred million yen. He was already living as if he had the money. Well, Julius, the money you spent on your own fun has nothing to do with me. This is what happens when you don't listen to people till the end. Then, then let's cancel the divorce. Throw away the divorce papers I just signed. Why? There's no need to throw them away since they're already signed. With my salary alone, there's no way I can pay off such a huge amount. I'm not canceling the divorce. I will divorce you and raise Madison myself. Why not? Just let it go. I only got excited about the hundred million yen for a bit. I have nothing to do with your reckless spending, so there's nothing to let go. I was planning to divorce you anyway, this is the final straw. What? Why? You've been cheating with a younger woman, right? Did you think I wouldn't find out? What are you talking about? Trying to divorce me with some random lie is useless. I haven't been cheating. We've got all the evidence. Keep talking nonsense, and you'll have your tongue pulled out by the devil. Who are you? Are you Lisa's lover? He's not my lover. Oh, I see. You're accusing me because you're having an affair with him, right? There you go again, interrupting and not listening to me at all. He's my friend Noah, a detective. Unlike someone here, I'm not cheating. Here are the photos proving your affair. Are you still going to deny it? These are fake. They're doctored photos. You brought these bogus things here. Well then, let's bring in the mistress. Here she is. Let go of me, you brute of a woman. Ouch, ouch, ouch. Geez, what a noisy lady for an adult. While we were talking, the detective Noah, and a little later, Madison and Mia brought Julius's mistress into the room. Julius was shocked by this and... Why is Silvana here? Hey, you somewhat pretty old woman. Let go of Silvana. Oh my, being called pretty to my face makes me blush, haha. <laughs> I'm not complimenting you. Let go of her, or else... Stop it. Don't say anything more to my sister. You don't want to shorten your life, right? My sister is really strong. Daddy, Mia Chan is a Bin Wan lawyer, you know? Isn't that cute, like a puppy? A puppy? Wait, you mean a top lawyer? Why is someone like that here? To make sure I get the alimony for your affair and the child support for Madison, of course. I already consulted with her when the affair suspicion came up. Fuck. You might think you're in a good position, but Julius has a hundred million yen, you know? So, even if you ask for alimony, it won't affect us at all. That money is the inheritance I received from my parents, so Julius won't get a single yen. What? An inheritance from your parents. So Julius has nothing to do with it. Oh. The mistress knows the law. Julius was all excited about the hundred million yen without knowing that. Julius, didn't you say you earned that hundred million yen? This is completely different from what you told me. Don't you dare trick me. Well, my plan was to get a hundred million yen. 
Julius had lied to Silvana, pretending he had a hundred million yen to show off. He was mumbling excuses, but... Ugh, what the hell? I have no interest in a Julius who doesn't have any money. What? Why? Who would want to marry a man who doesn't have money and now has to pay alimony? Well, women who are after money sure switch gears fast. Hey, missus, you mentioned something about alimony for the affair earlier. I'm breaking up with him so you'll let me off the hook, right? Ha ha ha. You say the funniest things. There's no way I'm letting you off the hook. What? But I'm breaking up with him, so it has nothing to do with me, right? Before you worry about that, you should be more concerned about your own husband. Your husband already has the evidence of your affair. He was furious, yelling you were cheating on me with my money. Wait, so my husband knows. That's what we've been saying. Stop trying to save yourself alone. This is the worst. I managed to keep it hidden all this time and now it's all Julius's fault. Why is it all my fault? You were the one who wanted to have an affair. Anyone would be interested in a man who claims to have a hundred million yen. Of course I became involved with you since you promised to buy me anything I wanted. What? And anyway, you... Enough. Eek. Both of you are at fault for having an affair. Do you not get that? If you truly cared for each other, you wouldn't be blaming each other like this. Julius and Silvana, after being called out by Noah and Mia, were... Oh, shut up already. You people who aren't involved should just stay out of it. Yeah. When third parties butt in, things just get confusing. Oh dear, Daddy can't even say sorry properly. What a bad adult. Madison. You're not supposed to hold hands with anyone other than Mommy. And also, you were on a date in a company car when you were supposed to be at work. Whoa, whoa. Madison, honey, what was Daddy doing in the car? Um, Daddy opened his mouth wide and was being fed snacks. Phew, safe. What were you imagining? It's strange for an adult to be fed snacks. And you skipped work, so you'll get scolded. Julius. How could you be fooling around with your mistress in a place where even our child could see you? Your words and actions are just despicable. I'm definitely divorcing you. Wait, let's talk about the divorce. No. There was a chance Madison could have been hurt. I'm furious. It's not like we were caught doing anything too intimate, so it's okay, right? No, it's not okay. I will never forgive either of you. Julius, do you realize how serious this is? Lisa never gets angry, so you must have really messed up. She's only upset because the mistress is here. You really don't get it. The photos are real, not doctored. The fact that Madison is disappointed in you means it's all over. Calm down, let's talk this over as a couple later. I've already sent the evidence of your affair to your company's department head. Isn't she a girl from work? Oh dear. Both of you are going to face consequences. Make sure to pay the alimony and child support. Remember, there's a lawyer involved in this. As soon as Julius and Silvana heard that I had sent the evidence of the affair to his boss. Why did you have to tell the department head? Because you were fooling around with a company girl, skipping work, and using the company car for your dates. You can't be stealing paychecks, man. Why did it have to be the department head of all people? Your husband will likely divorce you, so you should start looking for a new job. I've realized my mistakes. I promise I'll only focus on you, Lisa. I'll stop the affair immediately and devote myself to our family from now on. Please forgive me. If you ever get a chance to remarry someone else in the future, make sure to cherish that family then. As long as I have Madison, I'm happy. I don't need you anymore, Julius. Please don't say you don't need me. I'm begging you. You're such a pathetic guy. You're only after Lisa's inheritance money, aren't you? If you stay with Lisa, you can live comfortably even if you get fired from your job. That's not true. It's written all over your face that you think you can live off the 200 million yen even if you're unemployed. You're misunderstanding me. I won't cheat anymore, I promise. I have no intention of getting back together with someone who went on a spending spree, buying a new car and a bike, and is now in debt. I didn't know about any of that. Please forgive me for falling for such a pitiful man. This is the result of not valuing your husband. Accept it. I can't get divorced. I promise I'll never go near Julius again. If you're going to regret it, you shouldn't have done it in the first place. Lisa, please, let's stay married. I'm begging you. Even if I were reborn, I would never speak to you again. Don't come to our house anymore. Bye-bye. I submitted the divorce papers to the city hall, 
and they were successfully processed. I formally hired lawyer Mia to make sure we received the alimony and child support. At work, both Julius and Silvana were fired for skipping work and having an affair. Silvana was also divorced by her husband and faced alimony claims. Julius struggled with the car and bike loans he had recklessly taken out, as well as the credit card debts from his spending spree. Initially, he managed the payments, but now he is constantly behind. Silvana, paying monthly alimony to her husband, no longer has money to spend freely or buy what she wants. Thus, Julius and Silvana, who acted recklessly out of greed, lost their happy daily lives and now live in a miserable state of debt. As for Madison and me. Noah and Mia Chan, welcome. Hello Madison, thanks for having us. Madison, I brought delicious cake again today. Thank you so much. You always bring us such nice things. Playing with Madison and seeing you, Lisa, is a win-win for me. Madison is really adorable. It's clear that Lisa's happy every day. I started a happy life with Madison. Thanks to the inheritance my father left us, I can provide Madison with a comfortable life. Nevertheless, as you never know what might happen, I started working from home. This way, I can always be with Madison. Although her father is no longer with us, Madison smiles and says she is happier now. I will protect this smile no matter what happens. As a single mother, I will work hard to ensure that Madison and I can continue living a happy life, always filled with smiles. If you enjoyed this video, we'd be thrilled if you subscribed to our channel. Subscribing means you'll receive notifications for new videos, keeping you in the loop with all our latest content. Your support is vital to our growth. Let's enjoy and grow together.